Welcome to Australasian Bus and Coach TV and today we're at the iconic Hydro Majestic Hotel in the Blue Mountains of New South Wales where we're checking out a new coach combination for Australia. It's the Iveco 4x2 Euro Rider chassis matched with the Marco Polo Audacy body, the school slash charter coach. The Iveco chassis has an 8 litre Cursor engine putting out 330 horsepower and 1500 newton metres of torque. And that's matched with a six speed fully automatic ZF transmission. Meanwhile, the Audacy body is 12.3 metres long, has 57 seats, and it's got what I particularly like, parking sensors to go with the reversing camera. We gave this new coach a good workout along the freeway from the western suburbs of Sydney and then winding our way through the Blue Mountains up to Medlow Bath. Now, this is a tough job but somebody's got to do it as they say. Uh, what I was most impressed with is the grunt from this relatively small for a coach 8 litre Iveco engine. Uh, there wasn't too often that we uh, had to stay below the maximum speed limit of 80 k's. And up Lapston Hill at the bottom of the mountains, which is pretty steep, didn't get below 65. So I was very impressed with that. Numerous other impressive features as well. The ride's very good. Very comfortable suspension is receipt, of course, but it's got independent front suspension, which no doubt played a significant role in that. Impressive electronics in terms of uh, reversing, I never had to use them, but it's got uh, radar controlled parking sensors uh, to go with the reversing camera, which will warn you if you're just about to back into something at night. Now another thing I liked is the six stage ZF transmission retarder, which means you basically don't need to use the brakes just about at any stage. That's a very good feature and associated with that, this bus has downhill cruise control, so that um, when you're going downhill, the retarder will automatically kick in to keep you at your speed limit, which it did nicely coming down Lapston Hill, kept us at the 60k limit. Now another good feature of the cruise control is that it's the easiest to operate that I've ever experienced in a, a bus or a truck. Um, all you do is press this button there. Uh, if you want to go up high, you press it again. If you want to go lower, press it. And if you want to kick it out of cruise control, you just fit down the transmission retarder slightly and it's got an electronic braking system. Now that starts to touch on uh, some of the minor complaints I've got with it. It's got EBS, but it doesn't have stability control as standard. You can get that as an option. Uh, the next batch apparently will have stability control as standard, which I think can only be a good thing. The uh, speedo is a bit distracting to try and look at. It's down to the left and the numbering is actually quite small. A few other minor quibbles, there's a bit of wind noise at the front from somewhere, I think it would maybe a channel on the outside. Now speaking of noise, there's some diff wine up the back, which uh, isn't too bad and Ibeco says it can be fixed. Also at the back, if you're a passenger, I think a couple of hours is long enough in this coach because the APM seats, are, they're non-reclining, you can't adjust them. And uh, there's uh, not the leg space that you'd want if you were on a tour touring coach. But uh, there is the option of McConnell educator seats. Now there's limited options overall on this coach, but if you're uh, only wanting to pay $305,000 plus GST, which is extremely competitive, you can't have everything. 